Not everybody has the strength to be able to do full push-ups. And if you can't, then you can do incline push-ups instead. This exercise will allow you to get stronger, build more muscle, so you can get better at push-ups over time. For this exercise, if you're doing it at home, you can do it on a kitchen worktop, you can do it on a table, or even the windowsill. Or if you're at the gym, you can do it on a box or a barbell. You want to start with your back and body nice and straight in almost like an extended plank position. You don't want your bum in the air. You want to keep your pelvis tucked in so your core is nice and engaged. With your hands on a normal surface, if it hurts your wrists, feel free to turn them out a little bit. You want to make sure we're doing full range of movement and keeping the elbows tucked in at all times. This will work your triceps better and take pressure off your shoulders. Just like the full push-up, the starting position must be started with your shoulder blades separated. And then as you go down, let your shoulder blades squeeze together. And as you push up, extend at the top. Common mistakes we see are elbows flaring way too out. So as we've just mentioned, keep them tucked in throughout. This will help protect your shoulders and allow the exercise to become more effective. We also see half reps. So when you are doing them on the incline, make sure you go all the way down so your chest hits the surface. Make sure it's just below your chest as well and not your neck. If you're doing them at the gym, then we suggest you do them on a barbell. Just make sure that your wrists are nice and straight and not bent back, as this will help push through your triceps and avoid pain. Then over time, lower the barbell, so then it makes it more challenging and you can work your way all the way down to the floor. Doing them on a low barbell, a low incline, is just as challenging doing it on the floor. So take your time getting better at these and you'll be doing full push-ups in no time.